Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a very special guest, my beautiful daughter, Maya. Hi. We thought it'd be a good idea since school is getting ready to uh, get back into uh, routine that we do a get ready with me and then talk a little bit about how she's doing and how she's feeling. So let's just get started. Well, actually, before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button so that way you can see more videos like this. Um, and yeah, that's it. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. How are you? Good. How old are you? 13. <laughs> How do you feel? Is this different? Mm-hmm. Why? Because, I don't know. I've never really had my makeup, like, set up like this and do a video. All, all I've seen is, like, me right here and you, like, doing your video. And I'll be, like, making sounds in the background. That I'm just not used <laughs> to being in the camera. Well, we but... have all of our makeup spread out. Um, Maya started collecting makeup just like me. And, honestly, I absolutely love it i mean i didn't get to do that with my mom so just having her start her journey with makeup just like me is amazing so we're gonna go ahead and get started i am going to start with uh prepping my face and i'm using the new elf elf poreless putty and i just got this so it's the first time that i'm gonna use this and then i'm going to use my elf hydrating face primer i got from elf as well okay. from tarjay <laughs> Target is like Target. our holy grail. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Target way too much, and it's a problem. It no, really it's kind of cheap. That's why we go over there. But you have to make sure that they see you, babe. I'm <laughs> just in case. If you're wondering, I'm looking at my mirror right now. I'm not gonna. Tr I'm gonna try to be in the camera more. So Maya turned 13 about a week ago, and she's headed into eighth grade. So <laughs> eighth grade, how do you feel about that? Nervous and anxious. I know there's going to be more stress, but stress. Yeah. <laughs> stress. Yeah. Okay. What stress? Like. Maybe the teachers will be annoying, or maybe like I can't do the work mm -hmm. and I'm scared to ask questions, which I am all the time. And I've been having all the time, I've been having like disagreements with my mom every single time. She's like, a stupid question is like, no question no is a question stupid is question. question, right? So, when I say no question is a stupid question, but the one that's not asked. So we yeah. did do a little bit better about asking questions and making sure that you understand things. So you just have to keep keep doing it. Yeah. But I I think I never said that my teachers were annoying. I think I was too scared to say that. That must be something new that you guys are doing. No. No, for real, they are annoying. <laughs> well. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now that our skin is primed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go um, with foundation. And the foundation that I've been using is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour uh, Fresh Wear Foundation in 460. I absolutely love this. It doesn't look cakey. This is what I've been using um, ever since I stopped using MAC. So I gave up MAC for this. <laughs> and it's a drugstore foundation. And I, I just absolutely love it. And I got this from Target as well. Um, I will leave links in the description box with everything that I use and everything that Maya used. So if your little one likes to do makeup, um, I did give her some affordable things that actually work. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely, you know, if you like it, let us know. Comment down below what you would like us to use. Um, but yeah. I have the same uh, foundation as she does. Um, I have the um, shade Sunscreen Broad Spectrum um 24 hour fresh wear and it's the shade 510 so way darker than my mom's <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just gonna apply this with my real techniques um sponge which i really like and i'm gonna be applying my foundation with my slave beauty um beauty blender i know it's very dirty but i've been <laughs> using this for a while i have to teach you how to clean it <laughs> What's the one thing that you're most excited about for school? Seeing my friends and like seeing the teachers that I actually like and they're not annoying. 
I don't really, I'm not that type of person that the first thing I look at you, you're annoying. <laughs> no. I actually try to see, like, how you are and how your personality is. Because in sixth grade, I loved my teachers. Like, I really loved them. They were my, I think I was their favorites, to be honest. <laughs> but <sighs> to my mom, likely not, because she didn't really like how the school, like, programs and stuff and she gets like calls all the time on summer break instead of actually us being in school <laughs> yeah so i think yeah. i receive a phone call from your school every single day since you've been on winter on sp summer break yeah that has, that's a problem it is a problem <clears throat> so have you talked to your friends yeah um i've talked to them uh through text message and like facetime and call see like how they're doing and stuff but i don't think they want to talk to me why not because <laughs> i don't know they have answered they've answered but they've been like oh my dad has to see me or something like that mm. and I'm oh so like, they're just doing stuff yeah but i feel like purposely they don't want to talk to me mm. and i'm just like okay stop being so sensitive <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. It's like for real. I hate seeing my complexion like that. Oh my god. Puberty. You do that to yourself <laughs> right in the beginning of the video. She saw one. She was like, oh my god. It was a hive. It wasn't a pimple. Did you enjoy your summer? Yeah. Yeah? Of course. Yeah. Good. I hope I do some. <laughs> and I just lost an earring. <laughs> you might as well take the other one out. It's okay, I'll just put it back out. You hope you do what? I hope I do more exciting stuff over the break before school and stress comes my way. Stress. You, it is. She says stress like her life is stressful. <laughs> like, oh my God, you sleep until 12 and then you get back up. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, my mom wakes me up at like 7 30 or some or like earlier to because she has to go to work on like fridays or wednesdays and i really don't like it because i just want to like go to sleep as like every teenager does yeah but she has to wake up because she has gymnastics she has gymnastics camp so that's i get that but every time like it's friday like today um I woke up, fell asleep in the car, got up, went to my grandma's house, then fell asleep until 12 o'clock. So, yeah. Oh my God. Life is hard. Yeah. <laughs> so we're done with our foundation. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in with a concealer. And I have the e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer. And I'm absolutely loving this. I actually um, just switched from Tarte's Shape Tape. So drugstore again. I got it from Target. <laughs> <laughs> and I am using um, L'Oreal Instant Age Rewind Trade Tradement. I don't know what that says, <laughs> but I don't. Just the Instant Age Rewind. So it's in the shade Medium Moen, and it looks like this. I got it from Target as well. Um, yeah. Are you excited to go uh, school shopping? Yes, I absolutely love school shopping. You started a little bit. Already. Yeah. What did you get already? Um, I got some few sparrow notebooks and some crayon. We don't even use crayons, to be honest. <laughs> in eighth grade? Come on now. <laughs> I, I remember having art in eighth grade. No, did I have art in eighth grade? Not art. I like think I did we, have art in eighth yeah, grade. Yeah, but if we do art, they already have like the supplies over there. Oh, so we did it. Comment below if you remember having to take this big old box with like color pencils, markers, crayons to art almost what? Not every single day, but like three times a week. Really? Yeah, it was this humongous. big old box. It's a huge box. It was like um, a big container box. It was like bigger than a like an art supplies box. Like yeah, you get, like the artists get. Yeah, it was like that. It's a bigger box, bigger than like a shoe box. It's bigger than that. Yeah, it's humongous. It was humongous. No, we had to definitely. And then, could you imagine carrying that around with your book bag and stuff? 
I would not carry that around. Yeah. I would rather yeah. carry a whole boulder. It was, it was bad. Just remember, comment down below if you remember the big art boxes and the trapper keepers. And all trapper the keepers? <laughs> what are those? Well, let me show you. Not show you, but let me tell you. The trapper keepers are like the um, binders that you guys use. Oh. Yeah. You guys use binders now. We used to use trapper keepers. They were like binders? Yeah. Yeah. So it used to hold all the paper and stuff like that. I used to like back to school shopping when I was younger. Now my mom don't. I, I <laughs> does don't. not. I don't. I absolutely hate it. I hate going to the store and getting um just going just ugh, it's a lot of people. I <laughs> rather, <laughs> I'd rather just buy it off of Amazon or just Target. Let me tell uh, you guys online. something. Amazon is like home to my mom. It's, it's beautiful. It's she buys everything. Like if I want a new case for my phone, oh let me go on Amazon. They have like nine bucks for it mm. for a case. And it comes in two days. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, I want to go buy it. I I love going physically and going to the store. Then just going online. I hate waiting. I'm very impatient. Very impatient. I like getting boxes and I like getting um deliveries because it's like Christmas. I get a present at the time. <laughs> I like to get presents physically. <laughs> If you could put it like that. So I just used my concealer and I put it over my eyelids and now I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier setting translucent setting powder to go ahead and set my face. Now I have oily skin, so I like to set my face and then spray it. And I go from the outer corner to the inner corner because it cakes up it doesn't cake up on my um under my eyes because I have fine lines under my eyes so I go ahead and I go over like this and now that I'm done I'm gonna be using the stay matte mattifying loose powder um from Rimmel, Rimmel London mm -hmm. do you like yes. that yeah I mean it's like every setting I mean I've only had one setting powder <laughs> and it's this one but I think it's like the rest of them <laughs> now Maya has dry skin I really do she has dry skin so she has to make sure that some of the things that she uses kind of hydrate her face so which I know that one of you guys that are watching the video right now are like oh my god she's so lucky no you have to like <laughs> make sure to lotion your face and do all of that and it's yeah. It's a lot. It is. You like playing with makeup? I do. Um, yeah. I sit in my sink. Yeah, she really does. <laughs> I sit in my sink <laughs> and I play with makeup and I get and I get yelled at <laughs> at my dad. <laughs> He's like, What are you doing on the on the counter? On the sink? Now, one trick that I did learn, because I have oily skin and I put a powder on, uh, to, in order for my makeup to last for a very long time, almost all day, I use the uh, setting spray before I do everything else. So I literally spray my face maybe twice in my whole makeup process, but it helps. It does help. So if you want your makeup to stay all day, definitely spray it twice before you do your bronzer and stuff like that and then after you finish it. And then I go ahead and I take my little sponge and then I press it in so that way everything sinks in. And the setting spray that I use is also from the drugstore. It's Milani um, and it's the Make It Last. I also have the Make It Last Matte. This one does leave me matte and I absolutely love these. These are only two, two um, Setting, setting sprays that I use and I have to go back and get another one. This one's almost running out, but I absolutely love it. What did you do? She's making a mess over here. I'm going to um, be using the Radiant Dew um, setting spray. It is from Target as well. No, and that one's not from Target. Yeah, it is. No, I actually got that one from a BoxyCharm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got that one from a BoxyCharm. Check out the boxy charm unboxing that she posted on her video. <laughs> Promo. Promo. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, that's what my mom does. She 
takes whatever she had because it's like a mystery you don't know what you're gonna get so earlier not probably like this week she got a boxy charm and she didn't like one of the um products and she gives them to me and if i don't want them then she just keeps them just in case if she thinks that it's gonna be worth something i don't care too much for the skincare stuff because my skin is very sensitive and i break out in hives over every anything so i kind of stay away from the skincare unless i really know like i got a uh what was it i think it was dr brandt I got something like that and I use that one so that one's pretty good. Anything that's not going to irritate my face, I, I definitely use it and then um, I'll test it out and then if I don't care too much for it, then this creative one over here figures <laughs> it out. So while she's setting her face and all that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my eyebrows really quick. And of course, I'm using Anastasia. Who is who doesn't use Anastasia? I used to have a um, palette but that was like expired so it was all chalky and that's not good mm -hmm. nope no it's not good at all it, it had really pretty colors as well it really did and i really like that palette i use that palette every single day yeah but we gotta make sure that our faces don't break up <laughs> because of expired makeup i think that's why i got that rash on my eye do you remember that you had a rash on your eye yeah Okay. I mean, no, not a rash on my eye. I'm Mother sorry. of the year. I didn't know she had a rash on her eye. Yeah, yeah, you did. I did? Mm -hmm. You noticed it. Yes, yes. No, it was just dry. I think it was just dry. You're, Again, you're right dry here face. Under, yeah, dry face. <laughs> mm -hmm. You okay over there? Mm -hmm. um, did you so you say you were nervous about going to school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be nervous about. I mean, I was nervous in seventh grade too, so I think it would be fine. <laughs> no. Well, seventh grade was one of the most important grades, so. I got that stress out of me. Yeah, you did. And it was this very stressful <laughs> year. And it was very dra dramatic. It had a, a lot of drama. Oh my God. And I used to come out every single day. I'd be like, Mom, there's a. Mom, there was some drama, dra dra some <laughs> drama, drama, <laughs> drama at school. <laughs> and I was like, and she was like, oh my God, you better not get into one of those. And I was like, I hope not. No, definitely not. <laughs> I'll go up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's nothing for you to be nervous about. Eighth grade is going to be a great year. Just start, you know, anybody that's going into a new school year, always think about it this way. This is a new experience. This is something new. And just think about it in a positive way. Go in there rocking it. You know, say, I'm, this is going to be the best year ever. Um, make memories and things like that. Because then, on, honestly, after this, you're, you guys are going to be going off to high school. So most of you are not going to I forgot about that. be in the same high school. Yeah. I know. It goes by so Why do I have to grow up so fast? I just remember me like being like <laughs> me being like ten. <laughs> uh, Anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, but by the way, I'm using the naked two to just prime uh prime. Just like just to set my eyes with uh the shade Foxy. Mm -hmm. The first shade right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids. No, I'm doing this. <laughs> what are you doing in your eyes? I really don't know. This, this is the conversation that I have every single day with myself. I don't know. Don't I just know. slap on some colors and see, and just be like, mm, I don't know if I like it or if I do like it, but I think I'm gonna go with the originals that I've done. Yeah. But I feel like that's gonna be like. Okay. I'm gonna be um using the 18 Wonders palette by Elf from Tarjay. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the I don't know which I don't know. I use a uh, peachy right here. Peachy and I put that in my crease just to I don't know. I think that's what everybody does. <laughs> so you use the transition color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's in a transition color. It's, which color is it? Like it's in the name. What? It's like a peachy color. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's the transitions color. I don't know. 
We use a lot of makeup from the drugstore. Um, it The drugstore has came a long way. A lot of the high-end stuff that I have now is basically comes from my BoxyCharm, and I use my BoxyCharm for that. Um, but other than that, I absolutely love using uh, drugstore makeup because, I mean, it works. It definitely works. You know, you have some hit or misses, but just looking for it, just look for it, test it out. You never know. Um, so I'm actually going to play around with some pinks since I do have some flowers on my shirt and I'm going to use I'm going to use the Morphe palette um the 15 n and this one did come in my okay. boxy charm so I do have I use this one quite a bit so has some of those and then I'm also going to use my pure festival palette too that has a lot of pinks so those are really good too so we're gonna see what we're gonna do Okay, so I finally figured out what I'm going to do with my face. <laughs> to your face? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the color electric, this really pretty blue. Uh, I'm just going to put that on the outer corners. And then I think I'm going to go in with the purple. I'm going to go in the velvet purple. And I put that in my lid. And then I'm going to put the shade candy in um, the inner corners and then just the color electric again and put it just under my eyes. So let's see how that turns out. Well, you have a plan. I'm just winging it. <laughs> <laughs> I might just do this, put on some mascara and call it a day. <laughs> okay. Okay. I absolutely love this brush. Um, it's like a Diane, like a slant brush, and you can use it to outline where you want to put your outer. What the crease? No, this this one. That's just the your um. The outer part of your yeah. eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> Eyelid. Eyelid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Makeup talk is so hard. It is very hard. I just call it this thing and this thing and, and this thing. Just do that. Mm-hmm. Now, I got all her brushes from Amazon, and I paid $10 for them, and they work awesome. So if you ever think about getting a cheap um, brush kit, look at Amazon. They have great ones. And I'll link some down in the description box as well. I'm actually using um, a Sigma brush. I've had Sigma for a while now, so I got some of those. So you are pretty, a pretty busy young lady. Yes. So right now you only have your you're off in the summer for school mm -hmm. and you still go to physical school, but you also go to gymnastics and you're there for eight hours a week. Three yeah. days, three days out of the week, three hours. So we she gets home and she does her homework because no homework, no gymnastics. So that was kind of the mod that the bet. That is that's the rule. The rule is if you wanted to do gymnastics, then you have to be on honor roll. If you're not on honor roll, then you can, if you bring me a seat, you miss practice for a week. Or and then if you if it's on your report card, then you miss competition. That's the rule, yeah. right? Yeah. We've only have to do, had to do that what maybe once. I remember there was one time I remember it like yesterday mm -hmm. um it was in seventh grade and uh, I brought home a D yep so when I got home it was the night of the fest where all like the students and the staff go over and have like a fright fest like they can go into a haunted house or something and um I was like I called my mom while I was walking to school with my friends and I was like hey can I uh go to this fest that they're having at school and she said no because you're in trouble and I was like okay so so I see I hang up and I look at my grades so I right, didn't notice they, anything they sometimes send uh they send progress reports but they're like once every three months so I literally have to go on the app and I take a look at her grades because again, no gymnastics if you bring home bad grades. 
So I had to take a look because if she wanted to do something extra, I had to make sure her grades were there. So my grades weren't there. Nope. And when I was looking at it, it was like A, A, B, A, A, then a D. I was like, what? How can this be? So I went home, went to my mom where my mom was working. And she she said, what is this? And I was like, the D? And she was like, yes. And I said, well, my teacher, we have like a situation where we have, we have to work on an essay and the person where you sit next to, the person that sits next to you, you swap papers and then you edit it before you're giving it to the teacher. So I edit my friends and she edit mine. So I already knew in my mind that I already turned her paper in. So the next day I, she said no gymnastics for two weeks. And if you don't raise this up by tomorrow, you won't go to gymnastics for two, two weeks. So I immediately kept bugging my friend and my teacher. And I said, girl, did you hand in the paper, my paper? And she was like, what paper? And I was like, the paper that you were supposed to edit. And she was like, mm, I don't think so. And I was like, turn it in. <laughs> and I'm, what are you doing? <laughs> and then I kept bugging the teacher. And I was like, can you please change it up? My, my, the blah, blah, blah. Let's call it blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> and she, and then I was like, can you please take my paper that blah, 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 um, uh, edited. And then he, he was like, okay, I'll, I'll check in it on the moment, in the moment. And then I bugged him later and then later and then later. And then I checked. Oh, then he did it. And then yeah. he was like, here it is. And then she says, well, did you update it in the grade book? Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'll do that later. She's like, no. You need to do <laughs> it now. Because my mom is going to check it and I can't go to gymnastics <laughs> <laughs> if I don't do it. So there you go, parents. And then the day, the day that he changed it to a B, I was relief, relieved. And my mom came home from work. She was like, Maya, can I talk to you? I was like, oh my god, I hope nothing happens. And then I was like, well, I can't be in trouble because he turned my grade up today, which is tomorrow. So I he did, and then she was like, I'm sorry that I yelled at you like that, and you will be going to gymnastics from now on, and make sure that you keep turning in your homework before that happens again. And I was like, sure, why not? I will do anything. anything. So... Right, I have yeah. no problem apologizing if I'm wrong, you know, because as parents, I mean, we mess up as well. We don't know what's happening in school, so um, I have no, I have no problem apologizing and making sure that she knows that I understand that she's trying, and letting her know, you know, you know, hey, this, I, I came to this decision because of A, B, and C. So I think we have a pretty good relationship when it comes to like talking and expectations and stuff like yeah. that mm -hmm. we can she can tell me she knows she can tell me anything and then she knows that there is a line between being your parent and being you know a your friend. friend yeah so she knows anything that i'm going to tell her is only going to be to better her and to give her advice so i'm never going to steer her wrong so we have a pretty good relationship when it comes to that and i i feel very blessed um that we were able to do that but yeah but yeah, it kind of made her, you know, grow up a little bit and <laughs> um, uh, kind of make sure that she knows to take care of her stuff. You know, this thing, this shadow is really pretty. Oh my God. I know, but it's very cold. <laughs> <But> yeah, <I laughs> oh my God. So you go to school mm -hmm. and then you go to gymnastics. So the routine is I go to school and I eat or I just want to go back, go right into the homework. And after that, I can listen to some music, but I can't be on the phone with my friends because I have to focus. And mind you, like gymnastics is like hours, like minutes away from starting. So I have to like really hurry up, but take my time as well. So I get it right. Yep. And sometimes I have to check myself, like go on the calculator and just check it on my phone and um my parents check my homework as long as like it's not no stupid mistake 
a recording to my dad because he always like really do mind you put this answer so <laughs> we gotta um, give her a reality check sometimes because sometimes we're just like um no no but i mean overall she's really good with with, with her stuff so it works like as long again as long as she get she gets all her stuff done that she needs to get done I have no problem I told her I will give her everything she wants as long as she you know does what she needs to do right now her only responsibilities is you know school and making sure that you know her grades are there then after that I mean you could do whatever you want that I, I, I it's fine with me it's perfectly fine with me and no my mom does not spoil me no she does no, not I don't. I don't she's she, my mom's the type of mom that is saying when she says that you can, I can buy you whatever you want. She means a specific limit of things, <laughs> one or two things. Right. That's it. All right. But she doesn't mean like, oh, I'm gonna spoil you with all these things. No, it's still like a limit there. You're right. You're right. No spoiling. No spoiling. How are you doing? Good. You're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, look at you. All snaps, all snaps. <laughs> I already know, like, this video is going to be forever long. So. It just poked my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good to me. Nah. That looks good to me, too. Very good, very good. Let me do it. Now I'm going to do my... Actually, I'll put a little bit of pop in that inner corner. I'm gonna do the shade Danger in the, this is my left, left hand, <laughs> left hand corner. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get mixed up. Sometimes I have to do the whole L thing. Yeah. The L thing? Yeah, you just put up the L in whichever way you write an L, mm. like this. This is your left hand because you write an L like that. Why don't you say like, <laughs> I'm a righty, so this is my right. But sometimes I get confused with right and left. Whatever. What's your favorite subject in school? Math. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Math. All math. Oh, no. I love I, math. I hate math. I can't. I'm so good at math. I get like A's and B's all the time in math. I can't do math. I always stay so friendly to the math teacher. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, how are you doing? Blah blah blah. Oh, that's good. Blah blah blah. Mm. I'm doing fine. And the reason why I put setting powder on there before I did my eyeshadow is because um, just in case I get fallout and I know some of you guys that are watching this video are like I don't get fallout mm. and I was like I get fallout <laughs> <laughs> all right now I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop BFF uh, mascara in black on black I was about to say that is not a streak that I see there Okay. Don't you hate when that happens? All the time. When I get fallout, it's like the pigmentation is still there. Yeah. And I get like... Yeah. I you get know, that's, what, that's why a lot of people do their eyes first. So first, I'm going in with the... I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> oh, Good Vibes Mascara. I love reading. But I also... What? What? <laughs> oh my God. Let it dry. Let it dry and then we can flick it off. Let no, it... I'm packing it in with blue. Well, wait. Let it dry first. You gotta let it dry. Now again, like I was saying, I absolutely love reading. And, but I, and I also had issues with... Um, I don't know. Because I think reading like stresses that. me the most, but I don't know. This is that's where I least get um is it dry now? No. 
while she's fanning herself. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Let me tell you something about this. I was using the Bobbi Brown Butter Bronzer, no, Butter Bronzer, the Bobbi Brown Bronzer. And for some reason, it just, I really had to pack it on in order for me to see it. So I saw this. It smells and, like coconut. Oh my God, I, I love, love coconuts. Smell. And this right here, oh my God, it is it is so good. It is so good. Like, I want to go buy some more just to have it. Like, to have a backup, so. Is it dry? Yeah, it's dry. It's dry? Yep. I'm so sorry, eyeshadow. <laughs> I hate mascara. I mean, I already have curly eyelashes, but like the pigmentation of the um, eyeshadow just get in, gets into my eyelashes. And it just looks like I have blue eyelashes. That's it. I'm just going to pack, pack the color. <clears throat> hate it. And I love bronzer. It makes you look all... Tony. Glowy and... Glowy. Sun-kissed and... Really? Mm-hmm. And if you hear noises, it's because my husband and he's being annoying with my other kids. That's my life. leave them alone I'll Jesus them okay for my bronzer I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Paris true match super blendable powder oh. I think that's in cocoa is it cocoa I think it's in potato <laughs> <laughs> whatever now for blush I'm using my Alimar cosmetics and this is the colorete blush trio oh and it is it is. It is. It is. That's what it is. <laughs> it just is. Like I'll take my 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 um brush and just do something like that and just put it on there. Girl. What is it? A blush? These are blushes. Really? Yes. I just do something like this. And I do these. See the problem with super blendable bronzers is you really have to pack it in <laughs> but again i've been using this bronzer for how long mm. yeah we gotta get you another one i think you've upgraded to the physician's formula butter bronzer leave a comment down below and tell me if i should get her it <laughs> <laughs> now i'm gonna be using the blush palette um of elf it looks like this i'm gonna be using obviously the darker <laughs> shade um yeah i'm just gonna pack that on and then i'm gonna go in with my highlighter and my highlighter is from milani and this is the sun glow the sun glow one i have the other one that i think that one's a little too silver for me but i really like this one i like looking glowy and like i'm just i don't like like the beaming highlight that makes you I look mean, so bright sometimes i like it there's occasions where I like it, but look at look at how pretty it just it just looks like you've been out in the sun. So pretty. I don't put highlighter. I just went full glam here. <gasps> I forgot my eyebrows. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me tell you guys something about my eyebrows. So I've been trying to get her eyebrows done for the longest time, and she's scared. Yes, I. What if they take out an important hair? Can you please let her know in the comments? If you have non, hair? if you have like good, as everybody says, good eyebrows like mine, but you they don't have like the good shape. Let me tell you something that I learned from. I learned this from a James Charles video <laughs> <laughs> that going from the outside of your nostrils up. That's where they begin on look straight, and then the outside of your pupil. That's where your arch is supposed to be. And then the diagonal line from your nostril to your eyebrow right here, that's where your eyebrow should end. Doing it. I just wanted to give her some shape. I think I'm going to make myself a shape. Oh, my God. No. 
Oh, I'm gonna look ridiculous. You are gonna look beautiful. Yeah. Ooh. Your eyebrow lips? Yeah. I take more time than you. No, well, I took forever on my eyes. So. I think I'm done with my eyebrows. Let me see. Right, and I just lined my lips and I use a uh, Gerard Cosmetics um, lip liner and it is called oh that's the it's the name share so I think this is the I love this lip liner it's very um, smooth and I like the color because this is kind of like my the brownish nudish look I like that and then what I'm gonna do is I was gonna use my Kylie Jenner pink but I think it, I have too much pink on I think I want to do. Should I do like a nude instead of a pink? No, you should do a pink. You want everything to match. I mean, I'm not going to be matching. Well, I guess. Okay, Actually, I guess I'll use this one. Yeah, no, I'm not. You don't have blue or purple <laughs> lip gloss. Mm -hmm. I have pink LA colors. I think these are from Claire's. Don't you have the other one? With the red one? No, the NYX. Um, the purple NYX. Lip thingy. You don't like that one. I don't like that one. Okay. That one stains. Oh, okay. I don't like, st I don't like stain stuff. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my Kylie Jenner um, lipstick in Coco K. Okay. K. We're just gonna keep it pink, I guess. For me, I'm gonna use um, as I did in the inner corners of my eyes. Um, I used pink, so I'm gonna use a. Uh, pink LA colors lip gloss to give me like a natural pinkish color I guess this is like really matte it's cute you like it mm-hmm it's like a nudish pink color mm-hmm ew I have peelies on my nose Dry skin problems. Telling you. Okay. I think I'm done. You think you're done? I, Let yeah. me see. Did you put highlight? I don't put highlight. Okay. I don't want to glow. You don't want to glow? Mm -mm. I don't really like glowing. Cause I really don't know where highlight I know where highlight goes, but sometimes I put it too diagonal like this or like this or like straight down. So I'm not just gonna mess up my whole look. I can do it. You want me to do it for you? Sure, why not? With this light right here, I don't really think it's No, keep it on. Look at me. Look at me. Look. Did you put anything on? Yeah, I did. It's just very subtle. Yeah. You don't want to be glowing for the gods? <laughs> no. I don't want to be glowing for the gods. Okay. Um, should I do, am I done? Yeah, I think I'm done. All right, I'm gonna spray. We Forgot gonna spray. spray. All righty. All right, you look fabulous. Thanks, you too, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun with us um, getting ready with us and just chit chatting. If you like more videos like this, if you like Maya, definitely give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the um, down below mm -hmm. and let us know what else you wanted to see. Um, we're going to do a lot of videos together. She makes me comfortable <laughs> and she's my road dog. So <laughs> and make sure to subscribe and click the bell to, so you can be notified, notified every single time that my mom posts a video. Yeah. 
Again, I'll leave all the, the products that we used uh, in the description box below, and I'll also put a link so that way if you wanted to purchase them, you can go ahead on the Target website and purchase them. I am an affiliate, so I will leave my code below and I do com get commission. So feel free to shop till you drop. <laughs> But you don't have no pressure. You don't have to use it at all. So thank you so much for tuning in until the next one. Bye